What's up, nerds? It's our third and final round of Pioneer here tonight. Uh, we had half the people show up playing in Modern Horizons 3, apparently, so we only had three rounds. Um, you won the die roll. Yes, both cap seven. Uh, yep. Yes. Uh, I'll go ahead and start by shocking myself. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to tap for green. Two. And we're going to play my favorite say no taste scout. Yeah. taste scout. And explore. We're going to keep that bad boy right there. Pass. Okay. On time. Draw. Play an island as land for turn. Pay two. Play a deep root poker match. I'll just push that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Well, what's the So we have to schooner, biomancer, follower. I will go with keywords. To the bin, yep. 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 Pass. Cool. And you took it's two, right? Yep. You took two damage, so. Fun time. Hmm. Are your other ones for human colors? Yes, any color for humans. Okay. We'll tap two. And we'll play a river scene. Yeah. Well, one can't be blocked when our Murphy ETBs uh, gets possible. Really open to them, that's probably good. Yeah. Well, that. Flip so it becomes that. Yeah. Finish that building. Two archways. Um, I got this. Eat the Drain you for one. My deck sucks now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Draw. My deck is awful. Yep. Draw the turn. Hey, hey. Give me a lamb, baby. Green. Play it ace. No dice count. Um, Explore. Mutable. Comes to hand. Um, um, and Merfolk ETBs gets plus one plus one on your turn. Blue. Benthic gets plus one plus one plus one plus one on your turn. Just being it. Uh, I will go ahead and play Mutable just as land for turn. And then I'll go to combat. We will swing three, trigger, make a Merfolk, so it goes to uh, four, four on back leader. And then I'll pass the turn. Uh, Tapping a merfolk to make a merfolk. Mm -hmm. It's going to get plus one plus one to the turn. We'll go ahead and do it again to make a second merfolk. I can still cast this because it's a different And then we will go to combat and attempt. Yeah. This discovers three, so this goes on forward. I will go for the throw there. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's do. Proceed with combat. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, we're going to read the night token. If a player casts at least two spells during their own turn, it becomes day. Yeah, I cast okay, two yeah. spells on your turn, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. still my turn. Yeah. Uh, wait, night is on their own turn? Yeah. Why isn't it the same as the Innistrad day nights? That, oh my god, I hate that. Yep. Why would they do that? Why is it not the same as the original flip mechanic? I hate it! Because they hate bad players. <laughs> I hate them! Because they don't expect us to read, because no, no magic player actually oh, reads yeah. the cards. I've never read a card. Attack, exile, both those. One's a creature, right? Yes. So, dream one. Trigger train. Uh, I will throw one token in front of the train. Trigger draw card. Like, did we just make it that I don't think it was that Okay. I'm yeah, you're right. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> All right, you guys, your guys' matches are okay. up on the board. All right, first one, three, natural. Nicholas! Okay. Then I will go ahead and pay two. I'm going to adapt. So we'll put a 1 1 counter mm -hmm. here, and I will draw a card and discard a creature. I'm going to take this card. Yeah, no, beautiful. No, no. So 11, 11, 11, 11. Yep. And I'm going to set it. Yeah. Second map. They're fast proof, so I don't really have to worry about you just popping one. And yeah, fast on flyer. So we'll go to combat and we will swing three on the three creatures on the ground and we'll trigger make one more folk. So two, two, and two, one, ones. Take four, correct? Yeah. Go to 13. Uh, and then I will pass turn. Yeah, I just want to make yourself. Oh, I was like, how long do we have? It's food courtyard, maybe human. One spell. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no spells, actually. No spells. Okay. No spells. That's how I thought. Play the cat. Yep. Yeah. We'll attack. We'll exile. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. Uh, I will throw a token in front of the glutton. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything about the bat, so I'll take the one. He'll gain the one. 14 all. Gets a one one power. And we'll go ahead and leave that there. 15. Double attack with your trigger or draw two. So we'll go to combat. And we will swing the same three again, triggering to make another one one. I, or a photo. This was tiny bones. This will be Castle Mana. Okay. So I'm going to draw one, use one. I'll block the file. Okay. So I'll take one. Uh, so actually, just before damage, we're going to put the hex catcher on. Sure. So, so one, two, three, four. Correct. Okay. So I'll go to nine. And for everyone wondering why I haven't used the Field of Ruin, last turn, or why I didn't last turn, because that would have given you mana to cast the Hex Catcher that I assume was in your hand. So, so trade there. Yep, trade here. Take four. Uh, 
take four. I did cast two spells this turn. So when I pass the turn, it will go back to deck. Oh, you have the sentinel. I have the sentinel, yeah. So if you want to thought seize it, you can thought seize it. The, I've been wanting to play it, but the fact that it has vigilance is actually a little bit of a non vote at the moment. Yeah. What's. Okay. So, destroy means a. Oh, that means my, that means my deep root's gonna go away. How rude! Yeah, it's like. It's like I'm anticipating. First strike. Anyway, would you? Remove two counters from creatures I control. Go ahead. It's a basic soul grab. Is it untapped? Yes. Yeah, that's that would have given you hexcatcher mana on my turn. So that's why I didn't do it. Sacrifice a creature, Merfolk, to counter one. Pay one. Not worth it to go all the way to the one. Great creature to have, but I think the extra body is worth it, so it just dies, right? Mm -hmm. Just goes to the bin? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, I will pass. On top. I will draw what is maybe and possibly not a deep root. Yeah. 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 I will immediately crack that map targeting my Cenote scout that has a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And explore. Soul Cauldron. I'll go ahead and leave that there and put a 1-1 one -one counter on to the Cenote scout. Mm -hmm. uh, go to combat, swing with my 3-3. Yeah, so there's still... <laughs> still so many. Um, so I think it gives them activated abilities. Uh, yeah. So they'll get the... They would get the... Um, sacrifice of Merfolk ability. They cannot get the adapt ability. Technically they do. But Adapt requires you to have no 1-1 one -one counters on you, and Agathos requires you to have a 1-1 one -one counter on you to get the ability. 20. Sounds good. Swing for two. Draw a card. Second main. You get one. I'll take three. And I do make a Merfolk. Which is... Seven? Yep. I'm going to put two. Uh... And I will pass through. Energy uh, energetic. Uh, yeah. I lost one more. Oh, I exiled the uh, X Pet Church. Soul Cauldron that neither of us expected. Mm -hmm. uh, you have no creatures, you have, I have a tiny, tiny bones. bones. It's really so unfortunate he does not have an activate ability. We will go ahead and, since you're going to exile my stuff anyways, we'll use the Agathas to exile my Biomancer um, to put a 1-1 counter on the Sentinel. 
And then we will go to combat. Mm -hmm. And we'll swing with a 3-3 three, three and a 4-5. And I will make a map when I attack. Double. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and just take out one of them. And you'll take uh, three. Yep. Six. Six. I don't know what it is, but it means uh, And I made another Merfolk from just the three right now. From them tapping. From this guy specifically tapping. And then I will. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it. Uh, I'll draw one. This one. Yep. Red, colorless. So that we can try to get a one one counter somewhere that can't be smushed. Um, explore. To land, no one counter. Comes to hand. Um, A2, we're going to tap. I'm going to respond. Okay. So when the counter is put on it, right? Yeah, when the one one counter is put on it. All three of those can attack. Correct. Correct. There's three tokens. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get the one. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I lost by not hitting a, a hex catcher on the top. Um, swift end. Yeah. Actually, hmm. in response, because I can't kill you anyways without it, I'm going to tap my Agnes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target the Biomancer and the Sentinel. Exile my sentinel to put the 1 1 counter on it before it uh, dies. So then I'll draw a card and discard a card. Yeah, we'll discard forced. Then my card will be dead. And it uh, didn't save me really anything, anyways. So. I'm thinking I choose. I've played this so many times. I appreciate it. Trigger on your draw a card. Oh, yeah. You, I think you just got it. I can't get I can't get you can give me a one right now and that's that, it. Yeah. Like I, I can't actually get you to one, I can get you to three. You just block both of these and I get you to three. I'm at four. Oh you're at four. Oh I missed from two. The swift end, yeah. Oh yeah. And the one putting a one one counter on them wouldn't matter from Agatha because you could just one block that one. So had the explorer actually hit, then I could have done it, but Yeah, actually that that would have been nice, but oh well. I'll be on the player. Yeah, I need a sideboard. Because I really hate that shield just is like, ETB, I lose. Yeah. I don't know 
what's it take out here? Like four, six. Okay. Right. my sideboard, I know what to switch. It just still has never actually helped me win against him. Then is it correct to switch? Well, I, I don't think it. Yes, because it can remove shield. I just never get it when I see a shield. Or I use it on something before I try to end you quick, and then you have, you know, a uh, whatever that, not the white, but the sacrifice stuff is. Um, you have shenanigans that cause death upon the merfolk people, and it causes me great sorrow. Okay. I'd buy it, your yeah. children, you just play another one. <laughs> Me. So it's this so children, right? This? Yeah. <laughs> so she's just a 4 5 right now, but the next shield yeah, yeah, yeah. gets yeah, yeah, yeah. open. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's <laughs> like, oh, great. Cool. Uh, I should have told you what yeah. yeah. No, yeah, we're good. Like, it was my two drops. What are you doing over there? I didn't do it right over there. How many games do you guys throw? That's two. That's two. Just I humans got, of the humans. Yeah, and I got mana screwed. Oh. Yeah, that is that game. Yeah. 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 I don't know how much you're doing that here. I'm almost always playing. Are you playing the enchantments yeah, deck? Yeah. Yeah, I can't beat that deck. Yeah, it's like a sphere, like sphere safety is like four enchantments. I don't know what That's what comes in. I mean, if, if I have a shield, I don't need to attack. But I have no way of getting rid of wedding announcement or the billion things that he spits out after yeah, yeah. I don't have a room spell for the whatever the two drop is that makes him all cost one. I'm like what? I'm living on farewell. Yeah. It's fair, farewell or farewell. Correct, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a little bit of main deck and champion and close forward. Yeah, the training room is pretty strong. Yeah, it's a lot, but you have to be able to trigger it. Yeah. And you don't have to No. So I did add more, I just couldn't pull it against you. Yeah. I, yeah, I added more than that. So now I should have eight, so I just have to put the Oh, six. You are a royal doctor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull the audience. Is, is it, this a mulligan or a keep? Is it six lands, you two? I'm gonna choose the mulligan. Okay. Was it six lands? It was five. Oh, okay. They're gonna tell me I should have kept it, but it had no removal because it had well, five lands. Well, you know what's gonna happen. Is it now? Now the I'm next. I'm gonna get a one. You're gonna get no, a one or a greedy, maybe a greedy one or two, <laughs> and then just barren. Yep. And if I kept that, guarantee the next seven cards in the decks. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll just go in. All lands. There was 12 on top. Yeah. <laughs> guarantee. I should just... I never reveal or look, and I should, just to prove my bad luck. But the problem is, your, your luck is going to be so bad that the moment you do show it, it's on be, camera, yeah. it's all going to be gas. Yeah. It's going to be a perfect curve right from there on. I don't want to put one back. That's the problem. Mm. Let's try that. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Start with a Cavern of Souls of Merfolk, tap it for a blue, and play a Benthic Biomancer. Fast turn. Uh, I have to answer Pilgrimage if I can. Alright, so we got. You'll play up. Yeah, you're going to Okay. Um, pass. Well, I guess Hashtag it's... Pure Michigan. 
So no disco. Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> We'll Why do we try? Why do I play this we game? Let's make one <laughs> Like the worst what? part, like game game one. Just wait, this is this gonna be a Thosis. Pass. Yep, untap. Draw. We'll tap. Uh, it doesn't really matter, so blue and a colorless. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Yeah. We'll play a... I guess we'll do the Bark Channel Pathway. Um, we'll go to combat and we'll swing two, one, one. One or more. One or more. Yeah, no, if it was all together, it would... Deep Root Pilgrimage is the Biomancer. Okay. So, Biomancer dies. Still make a one, one, and one's coming at you. Assuming there's not a second push, go 16. And then we'll pass the turn. Jace, you win. No. <laughs> it's your fault. I'm the third. Okay. Yeah. Eat the biomancer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> I have seen so few invoke despairs tonight that I feel like I need the fourth copy of the main deck again. And then you're just going to see him all the time. Right. Uh, we'll. we'll uh, blah, 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 blah. It's not, I guess it's not really worth it just to trade the body. So we're going to tap three. We're just going to put a nameless, so no, nameless city. We'll get a map. And then we'll pass the turn. Targeting myself. Unless there's a shield around the field, I think there's going to be no other answer. He got the fourth one. Um, one in hand? Uh, technically two. Who's a tiger? Or, yeah, one I don't know about. I mean, it's probably never going to do anything. I drew the dress. Um, At least that one doesn't hurt you. Pass. It was duress was my draw when you had the pilgrimage on top. Oh. But with the pil <laughs> pilgrimage on top, like it, I can't do anything. Right. You're playing it as soon as you draw it. Right. We will play a breeding pool tapped. Mm -hmm. We will pay a one, and we will crack my map on my mm -hmm. set. Mm -hmm. No, on the Sonote Scouts. Sorry, don't get a counter yet. I'm explore first. Deep early. Now it gets a counter. Uh, we will go to combat and we will swing a 3 4 and create a map. Uh, I will pay one to crack that map and make the Sonote Scout a 3 3. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will pass the turn. Well, that over. There we go. It's nighttime, correct? Sure. Uh, I cast zero spells. I did map stuff. So, uh, deep root gets eaten, right? Because you flip? Or is that just when it. It's just when it oh, okay. enters and attacks. Okay, I thought for some reason when it flipped it also triggered, so. Creature discards a card and sorry, sorry creature plays on clear and you are in this card. Yeah, so I have to sacrifice these two and draw one. You lose two.
I will untap. Draw a deeper leaf. Play a deeper leaf. Uh, Play Besaju's land for turn. Okay. And then I'll pass turn. On the draw trigger, I will go ahead and do it this way because this is just the smartest color wise and flash in the tide binder targeting the children. On the, the uh, yeah, yeah. damage on the, yeah. trigger, yeah. From draw. I finally, given up on the iterations, it's been the insult, it's fast, and it's. Basically just okay. turns into, yeah, basically turns into a blank four or five. It loses the death touch as well. Because it loses all abilities. Um, I get to do two things at once this turn. I get to turn off night. I'm gonna play a subterranean shooter. Mm -hmm. I'm very disappointed that you destroyed my Oh sorry, a Murfo came into the battlefield. Um, one one car is gonna go on to the Sure. Sentinel of the Naval City. One is most of have to hit face. Uh, he is a 4 5. You have creatures that are stronger. The map helps. Shooter help. Does it swear to me? No. So I will go ahead and pass the turn. Long goodbye, the tide miner. Nice. So it's going to go to daytime because he gets yep. spells. Trigger. I view it. 17? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the two damage from yeah. the. Uh, whatever it was. What was the two? Oh, from the invoke. Okay. I was like, wait, it wasn't from the shoulder trigger. Yeah, I was saying, I, I, yeah. What? I, I'm right at mark two, so. <laughs> Let's see. This, the, the things I put on YouTube on Fred's thing today have been Search. Yep. And then, but life total, you'll net gain three, right? Draw three, lose three, then gain. Gain six. Yeah. I've seen videos of that. I see what I see, but I feel like this guy killed this, but it's not a game you play and stay. I'm over here like, that's nine damage if I cast it on you, but I don't think I can get in for eight. It, and my whole thing is, I'm like, if you if you give me three cards, I might just be able to do crazy so things. There's so one, two, yeah. three. So I'm going to go to... You put, yeah, I put you at the correct tip yourself. That's fine. 
reach. Okay. Oh, I can draw land in three of those. Um, when well, you already have six, you have enough. <laughs> yeah, but when I have five cards in hand, I don't mind seeing another yeah, land. Chris an egg. double spelling. What? Why does an egg have pass. reach? Okay. Uh, <laughs> until... I'm pretty sure I'm just uh, dead. Yes, this. I will too. I didn't think you could. I thought that for sure you were going to get for six. Sentinel, mm -hmm. ETBs, I'm going to play one more counter here, yeah, um, so, so ETB, trigger, targeting, here from the deep root, I'm going to respond, right. okay, to the caster, yes. okay, uh, let's fatal push the deep root, okay, so Sentinel resolves now, ETBs makes a map, <laughs> we will, Crack the map, targeting the Sentinel of the Nameless City. We'll go ahead and explore. That is a Tide Binder, so this will get a 1 1 counter now. So it's now a 5 6. Um, hmm. Temporary, but still removable. We're going to. Crew, mm -hmm. and then we'll go to combat. Yep, we attack. My sentinel's going to explore. Okay. Uh, so we'll go to combat. I'll swing with everything. I'll explore. I'll put a one more counter here. Yep. So it's a three four. Uh, three four five, five six, six and, and a three three. three. I'll declare those blocks. Okay. So it's will trade. Yep. My schooner will die. And I'll take five. Yes. And I'll pass her. Draw the 13. That's the wrong kind of football. Oh, he should be tapped, my bad. He's vigilant. Oh, that makes a big difference. Does that change blocks at all? I mean, you're correct. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, I can't attack them. Right, yeah, yeah. Because it was lethal if, it, if I could attack. Oh, okay. You had another reference. Yes. <laughs> Well, actually, that is an important question. Not for this, but on my upkeep. Is this in my hand? Yeah, you. Uh, when no, that it's resolves, not. It's not. So that resolves before this is in my hand. No, because that happens during your draw. Yeah, that happens because you draw that card. So, but if I've drawn the cards in my hand. Yes. So I can but respond. Upkeep is before draw step. This doesn't happen in your upkeep. No, no, no. I know. I'm drawing a tide binder. Right. Can I tide bind that trigger? Because I, this should be yeah. in my hand. Okay, yeah. that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you that said matters. upkeep, and I'm pointing out this doesn't happen to your upkeep. Right, but nine plus four is not lethal. You'd have me at two, so you need the upkeep draw to kill me. Right. So I would have countered that. I would have been alive still. Right. <laughs> I see. You're, you're discussing hypotheticals. Yeah. The, the I'm, I'm yeah. trying to figure out. Well, this revealed information. That's why. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I will have to sacrifice the weaker one and uh, lose four. Lose four. Yeah, my hand twenty. I draw two cards. Yes. Trigger shield twice. Yep. With Seventeen. Eleven. I forgot to mark the last shield to draw. Yeah, I think the the base of the card. I have no idea if I... I think I played a land. I think I invoked and fatal pushed, and that was all my turn, so I have seven, so I think I played a land. 
Yeah. Oh, um, uh, I think the only. Uh, I guess my dad has. And then, like, I mean, that would be. It's it's the the it's it's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's strong. Untap. Draw. Cool. Mm-hmm. Trigger on the stack. Mm-hmm. We'll pay the three and flash the tie binder that counter the trigger. And it makes it not death puncher. Mm-hmm. That's the that was the big thing. So then go to combat. Swing with my five. Get a map. Um, go to twelve. And because I can, I'll crack a map targeting the tide binder. Uh, Deep Root Elite, we'll go ahead and leave that there, and then we'll pass the turn. Hot take. Winter tires are more important than all wheel drive. That's not even that hot of a take. So draw one, draw two, draw three, go to nine. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess I've never had my own up north. I've only had different friends that had up north. So I guess my current one, my current friends, they drive me. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. But I guess you just pass that. Yeah. So, and then, that's what I was going to do. Yeah. Uh, pass. Yeah, or if I ever have to go skiing. I'm tired. I will lose yeah. two. Two to nine. Play a deeper lead. I mean, at this point, I feel like I just am dead on a clock anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and combat, make a map, and see if you want to do the trade. Um, so, 5 6. Like, trade, you have no cards. Yeah, I don't think I trade. Um, spells over here. <laughs> Somehow. I won. Yeah, I'll crack my map. Yeah. And explore. Uh, so no taste scouts. That is more wall counter, so we'll leave it there. Um, pass turn. See, the question though is, is, do you have the second shield? No, I can't. Okay. Can't seem to draw anything relevant. Um, well, you're not flooded. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it a lot. Cavern? Yeah. Yeah, you don't have anything else relevant, right? Um, okay, I'll grab one. Yeah, only seeing one shield this entire time is like insane. I say, honestly, as a weird thing, in this matchup, if I already have a blue and a green, or sorry, if I have a green and not a blue, you should not destroy my cavern. Yeah. Because you're not stopping me. I'm not you're countering any of my stuff anyway, so. Don't want to do this, but yeah, you know, just I don't want to do this. Actually, it's okay. I have no idea if it's supposed to be daytime or nighttime. Pretty sure it's day. I've been looking. I think we've been casting at least a spell or well, two. This was something left on top of the library. 
Wait, no, this should have been shuffled in. Or was that something exiled? No, this was a, no, this was a, on the top of my library, so yeah. we'll just reshuffle it in because it got it was on top of the day token, so we moved the day token off. It got moved yeah. off. So I was like, yeah, I guess no text, but no, I just. Jumped. Hey, I've played that one. Yeah. Half the point. Um, so we'll exile something yeah. when that enters. Uh, creature, I'm assuming, because that's how you get your pain. We'll just go with the time binder. Okay. So we have 10 to 8. I don't really want to do this. We'll feed this one back. All this dude destroys it. Pass. What's the it's creature enchantment. You lose life equal to the number of permanent uh, to, to that permanent converted mana. So, so you lose two life. Yeah. Okay. And then pass. Untap. Draw. It's our good friend, Deep Brutally. Of course it is. Go with one last one, one counter. Pass the turn. Push it. Yeah. You have one more mana. Yeah. I mean, I have to land, but I think I play land. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, uh, uh, part of me just has not been keeping track. I've, pre I've been pretty sure I've been dead for a hot minute, so. Yeah, yeah we'll exile the deeper to leave. And uh, it's so one damage, right? So go down to one. Yeah. Go to one, I go to nine. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. I have the land too. I just don't know if I played it or not. Yeah. You know, it's really fun when I put sideboard in removal spells to try and get rid of Shieldred, and I don't see them. <laughs> I mean, I only saw one. So the, the Tishana's Tide Viners aren't what it, the main thing I put in. I finally got my Rapid Hybridizations, mm. and so the goal is to actually destroy your Shieldreds to get them off right. the field, so I don't even have to worry about them. Yeah. Especially when I see you already playing your Takanuma. Right. Yeah, there's only one of those, too. Right. I I don't know how many decks at this point actually run more than one. Of I've our, thought about running a second, because I'm unless running... Unless you're exclusively running... Like, you know you're going to use it at least probably once a game for that. Yeah. I'm, I'm running 25 lands, and I've thought about making it 24 with two... Or 25 total with two tackles. When, when I was running... Uh, two, when I was running originally three Besages and lands, every time I had only a two Besages, it's like... Well, that's just a dead card, a wasted card, you know. Yeah. The number of times I've cap used a Besaju and played another Besaju just to get the extra land for a single turn is way too high. Yeah. And now I'm down to one Besaju. It's like, sweet. If I get the extra removal on it, sweet. Otherwise, I just need a forest. Yeah. Oh, good games. Yeah, good games. A 